So, uh, closing statements, you have 45 seconds. This is the last debate before the primary election. Mr. Garvey, go ahead. Well, to the Latino community, thank you for the currency of friendship all the years. Um, to all the people of California, um, this has been a journey. But if you feel the quality of your life is the same now that it was three years ago, if you believe there, this crime in the streets that is relentless, if you believe that the, uh, the crisis at the border uh, is real, if you believe that inflation is stifling uh, your family, uh, then I want you to vote for me. I want you to go to stevegarvey.com. And you know in your heart. And tonight was a night where I'm putting my heart and soul into your mind and body because I want to represent you for six years. Thank you, Mr. Garvey. Congresswoman Lee, 45 seconds. Thank well, thank you for uh, inviting us to be with you again. Thank you to the voters who have uh, watched this debate. I think it's important to know that uh, I know what it takes to make life better uh, for everyone in California. I have faced so many obstacles, such as being on public assistance, such as foods, being on food stamps, not being able to afford childcare, having to take my children to class with me. I know the 20 million people who are living one paycheck away from poverty. I know, I see you, I want to work for you in the United States Senate to make life better for you. I know what it takes to fix our democracy and to protect our democracy. I know what it takes to protect our reproductive freedom, and I'm so proud that Reproductive Freedom for All has endorsed me in this campaign because our de democratic rights are being taken away. Thank, Thank you again. You. Uh, please vote for Barbara Lee at Thank ca. You, Thank, Thank you, Congresswoman. Thank you, Congresswoman. Uh, Congressman Schiff, final statement. Senator Feinstein was a giant in this state uh, because she had the ability to take on the big fights, but she also had the ability to get things done. She took on the NRA and we got an assault weapons ban. Uh, she worked with people throughout the state of the California to deliver for Californians everywhere. This is what I'm going to bring to the Senate. Uh, Senator Feinstein was a good example of the fact that you've got talkers and you've got doers. She was a doer. She got things done. Uh, for the Imperial Valley, I want to make sure the mineral wealth of the Imperial Valley helps people in the Imperial Valley. For people in the Central Valley, I want to make sure they have dr water they can drink. I want to make sure farm workers can have a path to citizenship. I want to make sure those in the north of the state are protected from wildfare and have access to rural health care and broadband. I want to be a senator for all Californians, and that's what I will be. Thank you, Congressman. Congresswoman Porter, your final comments. Californians, you don't have to choose between having a career po uh, politician who's beholden to special interests and having someone who simply doesn't have a lot of ideas or experience at all. I can give you an example of how I've delivered results without ever being beholden. During the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic, when we were scared and we had no resources, just at home watching a graph of rising cases, I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Trump's top public health official, and I got him to promise free COVID testing for every single American, regardless of immigration status, regardless of health insurance. That saved lives. You can have results without having a career politician who does Washington, uh, corporate, Washington's corporate agenda's bidding. Thank you very much, Congresswoman Porter.